Right, welcome back. And uh, Egypt has warned of Israeli military calls for Gaza residents in UN and international representatives in Gaza Strip to evacuate their homes and head towards South Egypt expressed or rather stressed that this measure is a grave violation of the international humanitarian rules and uh, laws and will risk the lives of more than one million Palestinians and the families of staying without shelter, facing dangerous and harsh humanitarian situation and security conditions. In addition to massing of hundreds of thousands in areas unsuitable for them, Egypt also demanded Israeli government to stop doing uh, or uh, to stop the escalation uh, uh, steps which will have dangerous repercussions in the Gaza Strip. Egypt also demanded the UN Security Council of bearing responsibility to step the, uh, those measures and the UN and international uh, uh, community and active parties also to interfere immediately to evade further escalation with uncalculated uh, repercussions in the Gaza Strips and a possibility of alienating a complete population. Uh, 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 to highlight the issue we have with us over the phone, His Excellency Ambassador Mohammed Shazli, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good afternoon to you, Your Excellency. Good afternoon to you. Uh, uh, right, and uh, the situation as you read. The situation, as I read, is that Israel is committing war crimes, ethnic cleansing, genocide in uh, Gaza. Uh, the response or the non-response of the United Nations, I think, is will make this event one of the final nails in the coffin of the United Nations. You cannot have an organization responsible for peace and security in the world that stands passive to such atrocities. The Western biased uh, media and policy where the uh, foreign minister or the secretary of state of the United States goes to Israel and says that I'm coming here as a Jew, not as the Secretary of State of the United States. This puts a religious uh, uh, issue in the conflict. Hamas is not fighting Jews. Hamas is fighting against occupation and tyranny. For uh, forces, not civilians. Uh, I think this is a grave mistake by the United States. The uh, exaggerated support by sending an aircraft carrier to the shores of uh, Israel and also Britain sending two warships to the area this is regressing history 900 years back to the time of the Crusades. Uh, what is happening is appalling to every uh, civilized person. The uh, operation of Hamas is a battle in a war of independence. A war of freedom which is legitimate by every uh, consideration. Uh, it has been directed against military and police personnel, even you know if it has touched on the settlers. Israel has pronounced several times that the settlers are part of the reserve army <laughs> and the settlers are armed to the teeth, uh, fabricating news that the, the Palestinians have beheaded 400 Israeli babies. Yes. And this being echoed by the president 
of the United States of America. Uh, unfortunately, which... the journalist herself d uh, uh, retreated and said that uh, 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 these reports were not true. The, the harm has already been done. Yes. Even if the, 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 the blatant lie... Has Natalie been, Zedek, right? ...has, has mm. been uh, retracted. Mm. The harm has been done. Uh, this is the... If you watched the interview of uh, CNN and BBC with the Palestinian uh, ambassador to London, uh, who I bow my head to his excellence and his professionality, and they're trying to direct the conversation in a biased way and trying to corner him to uh, denounce uh, uh, the operation without even a word of sympathy to the victims of the atrocities that have been committed uh, by Israel. Speaking this is not the first time that Israel destroys Gaza. Mm. This is the third time. The first time was in 2009, the second time was in 2014, and there has been uh, nearly as much uh, destruction and as much killing and as much as mayhem and evil in the last two times. Speaking about atrocities, Your Excellency, and uh, 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 violation to all human rights, speaking about war crimes, the white phosphorus that was reported even by uh, uh, Western journalists and Western uh, uh, newspaper uh, in the Palestinian occupied territories, killing or hitting and destroying, completely destroying houses uh, 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 of people uh, 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 asking people to go to the south and while they are even walking they are being snipered. Your Excellency, how do you view the silence of the international community towards what's going on in the Palestinian territories? I think uh, this is scandalous and this will go down in the annals of history as a condemnation of the Western civilization uh, where you have uh, the uh, defense minister of Israel. I don't think they have a defense uh, minister. They have an attack minister, mm. an aggression minister, who said that we are going to turn Gaza into uh, destroyed, totally destroyed uh, islands. Uh, we do not condemn methods, uh, weapons of mass destruction because they are nuclear. We condemn them because they cause mass destruction. So if you cause mass destruction, you have to be, that retaliation has to be as if you have used a weapon of mass destruction. Because this is the, 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 the crime that weapons of mass destruction causes. The, is, the Israelis are using weapons against uh, helpless unarmed civilians and the uh, acquiescence of the Western world, the United States, uh, Britain, France, Germany. I mean, it is really scandalous and they should be ashamed of themselves. The, the Germans who have been uh, denounced for the by the crimes of the Nazis, they are applauding crimes, crimes that are no less than the crimes committed by Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. Indeed. Indeed. Your Excellency Ambassador Mohammed Shazli, former assistant former minister, thank you so much for being with us uh, over the phone. And uh, definitely what is going on is a real crisis and it's uh, the, the, the black uh, uh, era of the whole world uh, community. Extensive calls have been made uh, by Egypt uh, to coordinate a position and to coordinate all the uh, uh, um, 
uh, aid and, and, and support for the Palestinian uh, people and to coordinate positions towards uh, uh, what is going on in the Palestinian territories. Just today, just today and just uh, and this morning, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received uh, the Turkish Minister of Foreign Affairs, Hakan Fidan, at the presidential palace and uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs Samah Shukri and Chief of General uh, Intelligence uh, or, or uh, the head of the General Intelligence, uh, General Abbas Kamil, attended the meeting. The meeting discussed the overall developments in the bilateral cooperation where appreciation was voiced for the promotion of ties witnessed by the Egyptian-Turkish relations which took place within the framework of mutual respect and a common interest. On the other hand, uh, uh, they exchanged views regarding the acceleration, or rather the escalation, the dramatically escalation of the uh, uh, Israeli uh, occupation forces in the uh, uh, Gaza Strip uh, or the Palestinian occupied territories, where, uh, where consensus was reached on the extreme danger of the current situation and its threat. Uh, to the security and stability of the whole region. Before we uh, 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 continue on with our discussion, let's first have this quick report on the situation in Gaza and uh, the ongoing volatile uh, uh, situation and the Israeli uh, shelling. Let's watch this report. <laughs> Israeli occupation military delivered sweeping evacuation orders for almost half of Gaza's 2.3 million people Friday ahead of a feared ground offensive. UN officials said the order sent panic through civilians and aid workers already struggling under Israeli airstrikes and a blockade. The Israeli occupation military sent one evacuation order directly Friday morning, warning the hundreds of thousands of civilians of Gaza City to flee deeper south into the Gaza Strip and narrow coastal territory. The United Nations said it received a separate directive from the Israeli military shortly before midnight, giving all more than one million civilians of northern Gaza 24 hours to flee south. A spokesperson for the Palestinian Red Crescent in Gaza City said that there was no way more than one million people could be safely moved that fast. The UN said the broad evacuation warning it received for all Gaza North also applies to all UN staff and to the hundreds of thousands who have taken shelter in UN schools and other facilities since Israel launched round-the-clock airstrikes on Saturday. The World Health Organization sent the forced evacuation of severely ill or badly injured people from hospitals in northern Gaza would amount to a death sentence for some. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas had warned against a second Nakba, or catastrophe, facing Palestinians after the Israeli occupation army ordered more than one million people to evacuate North Gaza. According to a statement published by the official Palestinian news agency Wafa, Abbas completely rejects the displacement of their people from the Gaza Strip because it will be a tantamount for a second Nakba for Palestinians. The Nakba, or catastrophe, refers to some 760,000 Palestinians who were expelled from their homes during the 1948 war that coincided with Israel's occupation.